Hi, this is Kyle with Greens and Hobbies. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build your own deep water culture bucket. Um, it is used to grow many of your larger plants with the bigger root systems. Uh, for example, tomatoes and peppers and uh, you could grow cucumbers. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can grow in this. Okay, the things you're going to need for this build are a five gallon bucket with a lid. Um, preferably not from Lowe's. Um, I'm using this one from Lowe's because this is what I have, but I actually have had a few of these fail. Um, they develop a crack down in the very center of it, so I actually would steer against using Lowe's buckets. Um, you will need a six inch net cup. Uh, these run four or five dollars at a hydroponic shop or online. Uh, you will need some half inch tubing, an air pump, some quarter inch tubing that will go to your air stone. You will need a half inch by half inch 90 degree elbow and a half inch rubber grommet. Uh, the tools you will need for this is a pair of snips, a pair of scissors, anything like that will work. I've got a three quarter inch drill bit, a quarter inch drill bit, and a pencil to, dra to trace the net cup onto your lid before you cut. You will also need a uh, cordless screw. The first step is going to be drill a three quarter inch hole at the bottom of your bucket. Make sure that you have just enough lip on the bottom to hold your grommet into place. Otherwise it will leak. Okay, you take your rubber grommet and you just push it in until you think are in the groove. Okay, that's gonna be your water seal. From there, you just take your 90 degree elbow with, that has barbs on, on the ends there. Just spin it a little bit to get it in. And we've already pre-cut this half inch tubing. Uh, the length that, that I'm looking for is to where when it's on this barb, it will tuck up into these grooves underneath the lip of the bucket. You'll find that will be very helpful when you're carrying water around in buckets so that it does not turn on you and splash around. Uh, it's a good way to, to kind of keep it secured. Okay, so the next step is going to be, we're going to cut a hole in the top of the lid for our neck cup and also to be able to put our tubing through. So we'll take this neck cup, turn it upside down. And let's just trace around the outside of it. Okay, so obviously we don't want to cut on that line because then it would fall right through. So just kind of measure what the lip is from here to the outside of that. And you're going to cut that far on the inside of your line that you just drew. Okay, now that we have cut our hole for our neck cut, let's make sure that it fits in there properly. Just like that. And we'll put our quarter inch hole for our tubing. Okay, so we'll take the tubing and that'll go in from the outside. And these stones already have a barbed quarter inch male nipple on it. So just push that onto your tubing and basically this will sit down into your bucket and provide air. Okay, once you get that on, you'll want to plug this into a wall and this will also fit just the same. I would recommend 
you, you can never have too much tubing as far as that goes. You never know when you might want to move your bucket away from where this is. So don't make it too short. Leave yourself some room. This was cut just for demonstration purposes. Okay, now we have our deep water culture bucket all ready to go. I personally like to, once I get my starter plant going, I use clay pebbles that I will fill about an inch or two. And then I, I typically start most of my plants in rock wool cubes. You'll have roots coming out of the bottom. You stick that in there and then fill the, the clay pebbles up around the remainder of that rock wool cube. And that kind of keeps any light from penetrating in through this hole. Uh, anytime light gets through into your water in something like this, it's gonna create algae. And over time, algae um, will suck more the air out of your water and your nutrient mix. And it's not a good thing for your plants. Right, the reason we have this half inch tubing along the side, part of it is as a sight line, you can see where your water level is at all times. Um, and also, if, when you need to do a water change out, which is recommended you know, every month or so, if you just keep adding on top all the time, eventually the salt buildup in your reservoir tank will get to where your plants start to die off. So you'll wanna change your nutrient solution periodically. Uh, so you basically would sit this up onto a chair and you could turn this down into another bucket and empty it out. And then when you're ready to refill, just put it back in. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps you if you're interested in getting into hydroponics. It's one of the cheapest and easiest ways to get going with whatever plant might be your favorite. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.